rant and rave. Let's start the new year all tucked by talking about the Atlanta Hawks, who are struggling with three losses in a row. Any reason to be concerned after their hot start that they had? Maybe so. We were we were thinking we were writing them in as NBA champions after the first few games, but man, they've they've really struggled. They blew those two big leads. Still, there's obviously potential for them to be successful, but then they come out against the Hornets, and the Hornets aren't very good as, as far as early season goes anyway, and they've pretty much slaughtered them the whole game. I know the Hawks made a run there at the end, but I think it's still too early in the season. We're, what, eight games in or so, so we'll see how it goes. They still have, again, potential to be great, but they, they're they missing something right now. We'll see if they can put it together. Yeah, I, I agree. I think, you know, one thing we got to keep in mind is they're not healthy. They still have a lot of people now. Gallinari's out, and obviously... A lot of people on the bench, uh, Chris Dunn out at Kongwu, the first round pick out. That's not helping them. Rondo's not on the bench, but uh, th they don't need to get cold. They got to learn how to win some of these games that they should win. They should have beat Cleveland, New York, and Charlotte, three teams that they, I think, are better than. So uh, that may be part of the process to help them learn how to, to win. But the game on Wednesday was not good. There's no doubt about that. All right, Thursday's big news is the Mets talk got Francisco Lindor from the Indians. And uh, how's that going to impact the Braves? Well, it's going to make the Mets better. There's no doubt about that. That kid's, uh, he's unbelievable. It's kind of like the Dodgers getting Mookie last year. So, uh, you know, I, I think the Braves should be concerned a little bit. They're in a pause boat to wait on the DH decision. But, yeah, that's another great player coming into the division on a team that has a lot of money to spend. That should concern the Braves. It should concern the Braves, but I'm, I'm not hitting the panic button just yet. The Braves still have such a great young nucleus. Uh, I think they'll be okay. Let's hope so. All right, let's move to football now. Who should the Falcons hire? Uh, they've already interviewed two people at the top of my list. Talk, that's Eric Bieniemy, the OC for the Chiefs, and Joe Brady, the OC for the Panthers. Those are my two faves. I'd love to get one of those, too. What about you? Fun fact about the enemy, he shares my birthday and he was born in the year my mom was born. So there you go, I like him. But in, in all seriousness, I like him more than Brady because he has so many more years of experience in the NFL. No knock on Brady, he's obviously been successful early, but the enemy has much more experience uh, in the league going back to the uh, mid 2000s. Yeah, he's uh, he's got more experience for sure. Brady's a young guy at 31, but uh, I'm, I'm intrigued by him. And finally, Tuck, Alabama and Ohio State, hopefully they play on Monday night and not, yeah. not uh, the 18th, but uh, who are you taking? I'm going with the Tide. I'm going to go with the Tide. I think the, the Vegas over-unders in the 70s, I think they'll go over that. But I think Alabama wins by more than two touchdowns. I mean, Ohio State had a great game against Clemson, but Alabama's Alabama. I, I'm going to take Ohio State just to irritate all the Alabama people who call my show. <laughs> Uh, and, and Brett Beard, I mean, I, I would be surprised yeah. if Alabama wins. But I tell you, Tuck, Justin Fields, hopefully the Falcons' new quarterback, if he plays the way he did last Friday night, Alabama's going to have their hands full, won't they? The thing is, though, they put every single pass of the game together against Clemson. Can they do that for a second straight game against Alabama is the question. I don't think they can. I think it was as perfect as it could be. And when you're playing Alabama, you have to have the kind of game that Ohio State did against Clemson. Absolutely. And if they do that against Alabama, they'll deserve to win the championship. That's for sure. All right. That's Rant and Ray for this week.